Good morning. We're gonna do something different today. So I usually film my what I eat in a day videos on days when I have a good amount of time to devote to cooking because I, I want to share interesting new recipes every time. But today you're gonna get a more realistic look at how I'm eating when I have a whole lot of crap to do. If I'm not testing a recipe or filming a recipe, usually I try to spend as little time as possible uh, preparing my meals. So you're gonna see some of my go-to lazy, easy, like really lazy vegan meal ideas. Um, I do try to keep it mostly on the healthy side, so you'll see that. I start pretty much every single morning emptying, like putting away my, my clean dishes. I don't have a dishwasher, so I'll just make sure that everything is clean before I go to bed. And then like my morning ritual is to make a warm drink and to put away all my clean dishes. <laughs> I use it as an opportunity to listen to part of a podcast or an audiobook or um, an interesting YouTube video. Lately, Matt Kahn's work has really been resonating with me. During the road trip up from Southern California back up to the Bay Area, so about eight hours, I listened to a lot of his audiobook and loved it so much. So I think I'm gonna listen to one of his videos today. To drink, I'm gonna be making this Harney and Sons chocolate mint black tea with chocolate and peppermint. I got this at Target and it smells exactly like mint chocolate chip ice cream. It's amazing. So one of my go-to breakfasts when I'm super busy is just a bagel. And I have um, Dave's Killer Bread cinnamon raisin bagel. And I also have the everything bagels. And since I'm indecisive, I'm gonna have half of each of one. <laughs> For the everything bagel, I'm gonna put some avocado and Hey girl, I heard you like everything, so I'm gonna put some everything on your everything. I think I've shown this in past videos, it's so good. And then for the cinnamon raisin bagel, I've got some of this maple almond butter by Justin's. I got this off Thrive Market. And then I have some of this beef free honey. I got this from Sprouts. And I'm gonna put that on, on cinnamon raisin bagel and it is <laughs> so good. Not even gonna bother with a plate. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand over this cutting board and eat it. <laughs> like. This combination tastes like dessert. I think this is one of those rare occasions on which I prefer the sweet option to the salty option. They're both good. The pig mug has to make another appearance. But I am gonna eat this and then I have a lot of work to do. Before I started working, I decided to get a quick workout out of the way, so that is what you're seeing here. I have not been working with a coach since I got home from traveling. I've been doing mostly shorter workouts at 24 hour fitness, or I've been using some of the at home workouts on this pump up app. I had seen Apples and Amandas, who by the way, I love her channel, um, but she was using this app at the start of her fitness journey way back in like January. So this is a free app. You can upload progress pics or photos of your healthy meals to your profile. You can log your weight, your workouts, um, have something to look back on and see your progress. And you're also connected to this huge supportive community of people who love fitness also. So sometimes I'll just scroll through or browse the vegan hashtag for high protein meal ideas. And Pump Up also has this huge library of workouts. So you can target certain body parts. Like I've used a couple of their ab and booty workouts at the gym and then I've used a lot of the no equipment workouts at home. They just recently rolled out a premium option, which is $10 a month and you have access to all of these workouts, including videos that demonstrate each movement. Um, it times your sets and your rest breaks for you. So I think this would be especially useful if you're a beginner because it's so detailed. I have actually learned a lot of new movements from it. It's helped me to branch out from my typical training style. So I love it for that reason. So if you're interested in trying it out, again, the regular version is just completely free. Um, I'll have all the information linked down below. You can follow me on there. So I got this workout out of the way. And yes, I did change my outfit just to film this this video so I could look better. <laughs> but um, took a quick shower after that and then started working. It's been a couple of hours. I've been editing my second video collaboration with Thrive Market, but I think I'm gonna take a break right now and eat something. For my potato, all I do is rinse it and then I prick it with a fork and then I microwave it. <laughs> Six minutes for a medium potato and I give it a flip halfway through. I feel like the microwave just makes the perfect, like, fluffy, 
fluffy potato. My favorite thing to eat on potatoes is mayo. <laughs> But when I'm trying to be healthy, I usually just go with some sort of hot sauce. So I'm going to use some Franks on there. Yesterday, as part of the Thrive video, I made this slaw-ish thing. Just some kale, red cabbage, carrots, and some red onion that I massaged with lemon? Lemon. Most days I am eating some form of leftover for lunch and or dinner. So this is gonna be my lunch today. Pretty healthy, pretty healthy. Good job, Sarah. Going back to work, I just cleaned my desk yesterday. This is like the cleanest that it has been in a long, long time. This is because I'm sick and I refuse to buy Kleenex. Fun fact about me, I've always been a very <laughs> messy person. Like even when I was a little kid, my desk and my backpack were always just full of crumpled papers. My life's ambition is to be number one, a morning person, and number two, someone who is just effortlessly tidy. When I was growing up, my dad always used to call me Stradlater from the Catcher in the Rye, the roommate who was just a secret slob. So that's another fun fact about Sarah. If you are a former messy person and you found a successful way to become a clean person, please let me know because I would Really appreciate that. <laughs> hey, it's been several hours. Wrapped up my work on the computer, went and ran some errands, went to the grocery store, picked up some ingredients for holiday Thanksgiving recipe testing because last year Thanksgiving completely snuck up on me and I didn't do any recipe videos. I just did a taste test for the Trader Joe's vegan turkey. Uh, so this year I want to be on top of my ish I'm gonna start recipe testing now. It's eight and I haven't eaten since lunch and I'm at the point where I'm like so hungry that I'm like kind of shaky. So I've been snacking on Square Organics protein popcorn. There's three flavors. My favorite one is actually the spicy one, but this is a sea salt one. This whole bag has 10 grams of protein. I'm not really sure how they make it taste so good, but it is thebomb.com. And if you ever want anything, from Square Organics. I do have a discount code. They don't pay me or anything for it, but I really like their protein bars and this stuff. So you can check it out. I'll have it linked down below. I'm gonna keep snacking on this while I make dinner. So I'm gonna show you this dinner that I've been having like the past week. It's so good. I don't have any cartons of vegetable broth right now, so I'm just dissolving a vegetable bouillon cube in water. And I'm gonna add some minced ginger, like a good amount lots and lots of minced garlic. I'm gonna add a tiny, tiny bit of sesame oil because this stuff tastes so good. And I'm also gonna add kimchi. I just bought a new jar of kimchi. This is the kind I buy. It's by King's. I get it from Safeway. I see it at most normal grocery stores here. They have a mild and I got the spicy flavor. Um, so I'm gonna put in a bunch of kimchi. I've realized that I go through kimchi so fast it just, I need to learn how to make my own. Like, I have been adding the Trader Joe's Thai vegetable gyoza to my soup, and it's kind of like vegan wonton soup, but Trader Joe's was out of them. <laughs> They're always out of them. So instead, I'm gonna add some silken tofu. Um, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna eat the entire block actually. I mean, each serving is only 40 calories. There's five servings, so loving tofu is wrong. I don't want to be right. I also added in some frozen broccoli, these ridiculously large frozen broccoli spears, just because I feel like extra greens never hurt you. So this is boiling. I'm gonna put my tofu in. Then I'm just gonna add some sriracha. Um, and here's dinner. I've been having some sort of variation on this for the entire like past week or so. I'm um, just switching up the frozen veggies that I use. And I just love soup. It's like one of my favorite, favorite dinners, especially in the winter time. Hey, it's the next morning. I forgot to sign off yesterday. I didn't eat anything else. And by the way, I'm, I'm eating the cinnamon raisin bagel combination I showed you. But I just wanted to come back on and thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, even though it was very different from my usual. Um, if you have any go-to super duper lazy meal ideas, let me know. As you know, I'm okay with using microwaves and eating vegan frozen food. So leave any ideas <laughs> down below and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. But I never do that. Why, why did I do that?